After watching this video you will learn how to create iPhone text message effect inside Filmora X. Keep watching. Hey guys my name is Sali Ali. Welcome to Sali Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you step by step how to create an iPhone text message effect in Filmora X. Do a Google search for the iPhone text bubble PNG. Simply click and save the image of your choice. Like I've already downloaded these three files, sound effect, background video, and a text bubble effect. Download from where you can easily and then follow my method. Drag these four files to Filmora. Add a text bubble image to the timeline. Click the green screen tool and then the picker tool. And click on the white space in the side. And OK. Reduce the size of the text bubble image and adjust the position. And add another text bubble image to the track above the timeline. Click the green screen tool and then the picker tool. And click on the white space in the side. For this too, like the first image, the scale and position have to be adjusted. Hide the track above and click OK. Go to text and add the default text to the timeline. Adjust text size and position. Then double click on the text on the timeline and choose the text size and text color. And you can write anything here, whatever you want. I write that high Sally tutorials. I think the font size 32 would be correct. Click OK. Then take a screenshot of it. I will write in the next message, how to make iPhone text bubbles. Then adjust the scale and position of both the text and the image. OK. Take a screenshot of it. Then right click on the text and copy the text. Or press Ctrl plus C from the keyboard. Hide this text track and show the blue image track below. Also hide the white image track at the bottom. Lock all tracks. Now press Ctrl plus V and paste the copied text. Double click on the text. Write something here. and change the color of the text. I choose white. And unlock the blue track below. And adjust the scale and position of the image. Take a screenshot of it. Now hide the show tracks and show the hide tracks. Unlock the text track and double click on the track. Write something here. I write yes. Need now. Adjust image scale and position. Take a screenshot of it. Hide the show tracks and show the hide tracks. 
double click on the displayed track. Write something here with another text. I wrote, I make it now. Adjust the image scale. And then take a screenshot of it. Now show all tracks. And delete everything from the timeline. Now I will show you screenshots of what we have written. In the first screenshot we have written Hi Sally Tutorials. In the second screenshot we have written. Third, do you need a tutorial? Fourth, yes. Need now. And in the fifth we have written I make it now. Now add the first screenshot to the timeline. Double click on the image and go to animation. Click customize and zero the opacity level in the first keyframe. And a little further, in the next keyframe, raise the opacity level to 100. Click OK. One second later, add another screenshot image to the track above the timeline. Same as the first screenshot, double click on this new screenshot. Zero the opacity level in the first keyframe. And a little further, in the next keyframe, raise the opacity level to 100. Click on the track image below. And click on the add keyframe. Keep the duration of the lower track equal to the duration of the keyframe in the upper track. And in this keyframe go to the Y position, and increase the Y position. This will create an animation between these two text images. OK. So there's still work to be done. I edit it. And finally I will add sound effects and a video background. Just keep watching video. And if you have a problem with the video, ask in the comments. I will answer your question. Remember to keep the distance between the three texts equal. One thing to remember here. Here the opacity level is to be zeroed in the second frame of the first screenshot after the fourth text on the screen. As I click on the screenshot below, I will add a keyframe here. And in the second keyframe, I will zero the opacity level. This will give space to all three texts and the first screenshot will be taken out. Keep watching.
keep the duration of all images the same. The keyframe series is over. Now we add the sound effects. In the meantime, you have to lock all the tracks. Add sound effects to the audio track below with each text image. I will split each sound and apply it. And finally I'll show you. Keep watching. Sound effects have also been added. Now you can unlock all the tracks. Alright, finally I add a background video and then show it to you. Delete the extra part. Now everything is ready, just look. So you see how easily and in less time I create iPhone text message effect inside Filmora X. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you want to see more videos like this, click links in the description below, and enjoy our free videos. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications. See you again with a new video. Thanks.